Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can embed videos from Vimeo into your Learn Dash courses. Now, Vimeo, in case you're not aware, is a big hosting provider of videos, similar to YouTube, where you can upload videos and then embed them into other websites and learning platforms and places like that. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how you can take one of your uploaded Vimeo videos and put it into one of your Learn Dash lessons or topics. And there are a couple of ways you can do this. And after, after that, we're going to show you some of the features that you can use as part of certain Vimeo packages to edit some of the bits of the interface here if you want to do that. So let's start by embedding a video in the simplest form. What we'll do is edit a lesson and we will copy our Vimeo URL or the address of the video by clicking on this link here and then just copying it. And what this will do is allow us to embed this into our page. So where I've got here, insert video here, what I want to do, if I'm using the Gutenberg editor, is click on this plus icon here, search for Vimeo, choose it, and then just put that copied address into here and click embed. And it's as simple as that. So this is the simplest form of inserting a Vimeo video into a lesson. We can do it like that just by putting the address in. And if you don't use Gutenberg, you could probably do similar in Elementor or even the classic editor. They're all very similar. The problem with this is that someone doesn't necessarily have to watch this video in full. They could skip through it and just mark that lesson complete. And sometimes you want some sense that they have actually watched that video in full before they can mark that as complete. Learn Dash allows you to do this. So what I'm going to do is insert this same video in another way. I'll go to edit lesson and I'm going to remove that one altogether. So I'll just remove this video in the standard way of editing it. And what I want to do is add something called video progression. And we do this by going to settings, enabling this video progression here. And we can say, turn on this use Presto video. Um, I don't know if that'll be enabled by default, but what I want to do is just put in this vid same video URL that we copied from the video there. And what we will do is just click update now. And we can see we've got some options here. It says we can display timing before completed subsets or after. And we can say when that video appears. So if we have that as before, which is the default, it says the video will be shown it must be fully watched before the user can access the associated lesson steps. So after I've clicked update there, we can go back to that lesson. And I'm looking as an admin at the moment, but we'll see the same sort of embed. But what I'm going to do is quickly here, switch to a learner account and look at what they see. So as a learner, you will see that the video is embedded but we can't actually mark that as complete yet until we have watched that video in full. And what they would have to do is watch all of that and get to the end. Now there's a slight problem with this um, in that someone can actually click play, put the, um, the timer right at the end and still skip the video if they wanted to. And that would cause the mark complete button to appear once it gets to it. So we'll just see that appear here and mark as complete. So there is still ways for people to skip that video. And this is where we're going to come to looking at some of the video, Vimeo options for hiding some of the elements of this. So if I skip back to my Vimeo account here, I'm logged into Vimeo and what I can do is choose the settings of this video 
And if you are using Vimeo's plus package, I think it is. So if I just go search for this, Vimeo pricing. So Vimeo has a free tier as well as some other tiers. And the, the first tier is called this plus one. And what it does is it allows you these player customization options and privacy controls. So this is the sort of first premium level, but it goes up to enterprise level. But within this first one, what you can do is edit some of the settings of the vid video. So to show how it's displayed. Now a really useful one is you can control where the video is embedded. And if you have a video that you only want to be embedded on your own site and not anywhere else, the plus level of Vimeo allows you to do this by choosing specific domains. And within this, I've already added it here, but you can put in a domain and click add. And if someone was trying to try and embed that video on any other site, it would come up with an error. So it just gives you an extra layer of, level of control of the privacy of your videos. And you can say that I only want this video to be embeddable onto this domain. And that's something that you don't really get with YouTube's free account. So this is one of the potential benefits of Vimeo. The other bits that I was talking about earlier were the plus package also allows you to customize some of the interface of this video. So as we saw before, learners could potentially bypass this monetary view of the video by skipping their player bar to the end. So one way we could do that, get rid of that is by actually hiding that play bar and just having the, the play button. And as well as that, we can turn off certain aspects like the option to go full screen, like buttons, watch later, share, embed, take off all this stuff that we don't actually need. And we can have a really stripped back interface there, which just has the play button. And if I click save now, and then I view that video in the Learn Dash course, we've simply got a play button here and it's much more difficult for the learner to then skip through and um, avoid having to watch the whole video. I should add that it is still technically possible using the cursor keys, you can still go through the video, but not everyone will know about that and it's a uh, um, much more difficult way to actually skip the video. So if someone really, really wanted to bypass your video, they probably could, but by doing this, we are making it much more difficult. So I hope you find that useful. And we think Vimeo is a really good way to embed video content into your courses. And uh, if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.